You seem to acknowledge that the president was wrong when he tweeted that 122 prisoners released by the Obama administration from Gitmo had returned to the battlefield. In fact, it was mostly by the Bush administration. Will he retract or even apologize for that, given that he also called it a terrible decision by the Obama administration, and given that that was incorrect, that there still has been no proof either of his tweets about widespread voter fraud or the wiretapping, does the president have a credibility problem? You know, look, I said yesterday, I think Trey asked the question, um, that the president meant the total number of people. And that, and the, hold on, I, I understand, okay, I understand that. I'm actually explaining it. That's what you asked the question. I, I, I be just, he meant that the total number of people released from Gitmo was 122. What the president, and but just to be clear, there is a big difference. Under the Bush administration, most of those were court ordered. The Obama administration took great steps. They talked about, it was a campaign promise, frankly, from day one to close Gitmo. This president is very clear that he understands the nature of the threat that the people in Gitmo pose to our nation and the recidivism rate that there are among people that we have released. That is a concern that he shares. The reason the Bush administration did it was in many cases they were under court order. The Obama administration made it actually a priority to let people go and to actively desire to close that camp and to release more and more of those people, especially in the waning days. There is an a, a huge contrast between the posture, the posture and the policy of the last two administrations on how they were dealing with Gitmo. 